Hi, Adam and Rich. This is John calling from the north of England. Um, so I learned to swim three years ago, um, and this summer I'm doing a swim run that has lakes and um, trail running, and it has a, a lake crossing in it. Um, I don't have any access to lakes to train in because they become too polluted uh, in my neck of the woods. Um, but I do have access to the sea, and obviously it can be really rough or it can be cold, so it's kind of warmed up to about 44, 45 Fahrenheit now, um, but I can't do huge distances because I just get really, really cold. Um, and if it's too rough, then I just get beaten up, and I, again, can't do huge distances. So I also have access to a swimming pool, and I'm just wondering how would you kind of um, navigate those two options? Thanks very much. Bye. John, coming in hot with mm. the vegan swim run question. With my the, favorite kind of question. Yes, and with the great accent right out of the I north, know. the north the in north, Game of Thrones. How far north in it's England? The north is John. The north. John, wait, is John from the north? Yeah, like John Snow. Is this John Snow? <laughs> John Snow's not in England. First of all, John Snow just learned to swim. That's a, to me that the best part of this question is he just learned to swim three years ago, right? And he's in a swim run. I love it. That's amazing. It I is. love that. Do you want to take a stab at this? answer first? Well, I'll let you talk about the best way to train since I just kind of wing mm -hmm. it. But um, I mean, with apologies to Nicholas, who I don't wing it, I, I do as I'm told, but I do also wing it to some yeah. degree. Um, the one thing I would recommend because of your ocean, like for me personally, I like to swim in the ocean. I don't swim in pools. Um, but uh, since you're new to swimming, I would guess like a lot of even triathletes that are very good in pools, they'd often the transition to getting into open water is a little bit rougher. They're not that great or comfortable. Let's just say they're not as comfortable in open water. Mm -hmm. And there is a comfort level of swimming in open water that that you won't have in the, although there will be wind in a lake and there might be waves, it won't be the same thing as a rough sea. Sure. And so um, if you're going to go into the sea and there's not a lifeguard on duty and you're swimming alone, I'd be very cautious at first if you're not comfortable with it. Um, I would try to swim in tandem at least in the open water, especially at those temperatures, that's dangerous. And um, it can be dangerous if you're not in the right wetsuit. Um, and so I think that those things, you know, in Hawaii, there's a phrase they have on almost every beach, when in doubt, don't go out. And I think it's okay to feel some butterflies, but I don't think it's okay to put yourself in a dangerous, dangerous situation. So um, I do think you need to be mindful of conditions and temperature if you're gonna be alone. And so that's the only thing I would say about the ocean. Adam dropping open water safety knowledge, yes. like a true lifeguard, yes. a true waterman. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So here's, here's what I think. Um, I think you're gonna be fine, John. Uh, kudos for tackling a swim run three years into learning how to swim. I think that's ballsy and amazing. If it makes you feel any better, I trained almost entirely for the Otillo Swim Run World Championships in a swimming pool. Yeah. I almost never went in open water. Now, that being said, I have a lot of open water experience. So I, I didn't feel like the need to get comfortable in open water. So what I would say to you is double down on the swimming pool use that as much as possible to develop your fitness and your endurance and your strength. Um, and you can also use the pool for in and out, you know, swim run transitions, right? So in and out, swim, swim run, swim run, swim run, get used to swimming and running. And if you can, if they'll let you at your pool, swim in the pool with your wetsuit on and your shoes on because swimming with tennis shoes is a very strange it is. sensation uh, that you're gonna have to acclimate to. And if you can, if the if the pool will allow you to do it, I would suggest doing that as much as possible. And of course, using the hand paddles and getting used to all the gear and all of that is really important. Um, but I would say that the pool is suboptimal. You always wanna be kind of out in the natural environment uh, in terrain that's gonna mimic the actual race course and that isn't quite available to you. So what I would suggest is you avail yourself of the sea but just pick your moments like once a week or when the 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 conditions are are you know fine like it's not I wouldn't go out when it's crazy choppy or anything like that and also 44 45 degrees is no joke so make sure you're wearing an appropriate wetsuit for that kind of weather um, and 5 get, mil at but least but get out, yeah get out yeah, get mil. out in the in the in the sea um, and you could do short swim work swim run workouts where you're just you swim 200 meters 
and then run up the shore and you know run for a half mile and then go, and then run back into the sea so you're not really in the ocean that long but you're getting used to you're acclimating not only to what it feels like to be in open water but also the weirdness and discomfort of of running up the shore and running back in like developing a comfort level with all of that um, from a mental and emotional perspective, I think is huge because if you can handle that, these lakes are gonna be so easy, mm. right? There'll be no intimidation because no. you've been out battling freezing water um, in, in the sea. The lakes of course are not gonna have salt water. So there's a different kind of buoyancy thing. You're that you buoyant. might, yeah, you're not gonna be as buoyant. Like there's something, that, when you swim in the ocean, you ride very high in the water and it actually makes it easier to swim yeah. if it's calm. Um, so the lake you're gonna you're gonna ride a little bit lower, um, and you'll feel a little bit more like you're fighting the water than you would in the ocean. But I think you're actually in a great situation to be mentally prepared because of the conditions in in which you live. So pick your moments. Um, the lakes will be easy after those North Sea excursions, and I don't know what the 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 land terrain is around you. And I don't know what the terrain of this specific swim run course looks like, but I would, if I made one mistake, and I've said this before on the podcast in training for Sweden, you know, I was just running trails and, and kind of gradual climbs and things like that. And the, the course in Sweden was very technical. It was very rocky. Um, there was a lot of climb, you know, it, it was, there actually wasn't that much running. It was a lot of trudging and climbing up rocks and things like that. So get really familiar with the terrain of the race and try to find terrain in your natural environment near your home where you can mimic what it's gonna be like during the race. Mm. Yeah, I mean, for, for me saying, don't go out alone. I mean, I, I do go out and swimming alone, but it, the temperatures are different. But um, I will say, uh, I was gonna ask you, Rich, what do you think about, like, since it's a lake that he hasn't been in, like how you went to um, the Sierras to train at altitude and swam in Tahoe. Mm -hmm. um, would you recommend maybe if you have time and you have the, the, the time and inclination, maybe a, a week excursion or even just a weekend to a lake that you do feel comfortable swimming in. That wouldn't yeah, be a bad idea. if he has the idea. ability and the time, yeah. you could drive to some lake that maybe is not that far away yeah. just, just for the day or for the weekend or something yeah. like that and get used to you know experiencing what it's like to swim in a lake. I think that'd if be- If he hasn't done that that'd before. That'd be good, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. But well, I promise you, if you get comfortable swimming <laughs> in, the, in, the North in the North Sea, sea uh, you're gonna be fine in the lake. Yeah, you might wanna get a seven mil wetsuit for swimming and it, it'd be, you know, uh, unless, you're, unless you're doing swim run and in that case, just get a thick, the thickest swim run wetsuit you can get for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah.